ever woken up with a feeling of joy and total delight for the day ahead and feeling totally grateful about your life and the people around you? Feeling alive and energetic. That's enthusiasm. I'm Catherine Gaho from SBO Research where we provide business and social research services. And some of the research we do for our clients looks into the question of joy, enthusiasm, and passion. In this video, I will talk about how we can unlock joy and raise our enthusiasm in the new year. And I will also share my heartfelt new year wishes for you. Thank you for seeing me this far. I started this channel this year and I have gotten great support from you, my viewers, and I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. Continue watching and I would ask you to stay with me to the end so you can get the full benefit of this video. I think it's a good time to talk about enthusiasm as we are heading to the holidays and to the new year 2021. Don't you agree? I think this is one time that everybody has been looking forward to. We want to get to 2021. Enthusiasm is about celebrating the simple things in life. Things that we sometimes take for granted, like the bright sky, like the greenery around here, this greenery around me, like the warmth from the sun and the air we breathe. The word enthusiasm originated from the Greek language from the Greek word theos, meaning of God or godly. That's the power of this word, enthusiasm. Other words that are commonly used to capture the essence of enthusiasm are energetic, interest, passionate, inspired, excited, and joy. After all the challenges of 2020 and the toll from the pandemic, with all the uncertainty and disruption of our lives, the losses, the tears, the anxiety and uncertainty. I think we need to deliberately and consciously work to get our groove back. After all the social distancing, work from home with minimal interaction with colleagues and the like, and the minimal interactions with friends, not being able to attend events, weddings, you know, postponed events that even people who wanted to get married had to move it on to 2021. I think it's time. It's definitely time to seek and find some joy. Not because things have changed, not because things are great, but because we must find a sense of joy to be able to see the greatness in everyday things. We need joy to be able to perceive the greatness in ordinary things like this tree, like the air, like the wind blowing around me. We need joy to overcome the challenges of everyday life and to be able to look to the future with confidence and hope and faith, be living for the best. To quote Ernest Holmes, joy and enthusiasm are the very essence of life. The idea of joy is about being 100% alive as long as you are on this earth as long as you are fit and healthy you should feel alive and operate as if you are 100% living it's to be filled with energy a sense of wonder a sense of encouragement feeling great we just need to be awake to this or as the young people say be walk and see the sunshine be walk and breath the fresh air be walk and enjoy your surroundings we need to be alert or aware of our environment and we will always find some basis for enthusiasm and joy so we don't have to wait for things to change to get joy what we need is to change our own attitude we have the power of mind to re-energize our lives and to seek and find new joy, new enthusiasm in our lives based on what's around us at the moment. We can start with seeing every new day as a gift and the new year as even greater gift. And the new year as an even greater gift, as a symbol 
of renewal, as a symbol of hope. The new year is a symbol of new opportunity. It's a symbol of new life, new beginnings. And there is a lot to look forward to and to celebrate about that. Today, I've come outside of the house to my garden to do this video so that I can share the beautiful feeling of nature around me. It's a bright day here at my home, full of sunshine, and the wind is blowing on me. I want to share the joy with you as we continue. I want to encourage you, wherever you are, to celebrate the joy found in simple things, basic things, things that sometimes we take for granted. The air we breathe, the warmth, the beautiful sky, the clouds and the like, the green of the grass and the trees, the birds of the air and the butterflies and other flying things, the sound of birds chirping. All that should awaken your enthusiasm. You should be walk, as the young people say, walk to enjoy and see all the bright things in life. Actually, you can look at the crowds and see images of what you want in your life. Even in this new year, you can plan to look up and create the images of the things you want from the shapes of the crowds. Because in actual fact, all that matters is what's in your mind. That's what counts. When you look up to the crowds, what you tend to see is what you want to see. It can help you visualize a great new year full of inspiration and energy if you are living life in an enthusiastic way. The new year is a symbol of new opportunity. When we are enthusiastic about something, we tend to exhibit a good attitude towards it. We move towards it with great positivity, liveliness and exuberance. Enthusiastic people are passionate, they are energetic, they have a spark. Stay to the end of this video to get my new year message. Some of the companies we work for do service on enthusiasm and they make great efforts to create a present environment for their people so that their people can serve with enthusiasm and their customers can enjoy dealing with them. Why? Because research shows that people who are more enthusiastic about their work perform better at work, have higher productivity and serve customers with greater care. They are committed. So valued is enthusiasm that some companies have a corporate enthusiasm song or anthem, so to speak. One that comes to mind is the Mary Kay enthusiasm song. It goes something like this. I've got Mary Kay enthusiasm down in my heart. I've got that Mary Kay enthusiasm down in my heart. Down in my heart. And the song goes on to talk about enthusiasm down in my feet or in my head or all over me. Enthusiasm all over me. That's a Mary Kay enthusiasm song. Think about that. It cannot be nothing that so many people go to such lengths as to do research around enthusiasm, as to try and understand how enthusiastic their people are, and even to create enthusiasm songs. Enthusiasm is a strong feeling of enjoyment or interest in something. In my case, I always say I feel great when I'm outdoors. I love the feel of the outdoors. I feel energized, I feel inspired, and that is part of where I get my enthusiasm from. I love the feeling of sunshine around me because it inspires me to consider the bright side of things. It gives me hope, even when things are dim. I hope watching this video with the natural background will also give you positive energy. Like the Mary Kay song, when I'm out here, I've got the Mary Kay enthusiasm down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart, I've got the Mary Kay enthusiasm down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. The idea is that it stays with you. Like the Mary Kay song, when I'm out here, I feel a great sense of joy and enthusiasm in my heart. I feel it in my head. I feel it in my feet and all over me. And it's here to stay just like that for the Mary Kay people. So my wish for you this year, 2021, is to find what brings you joy and enthusiasm and to savour it, to cherish it, to treasure
treasure it. The delight in your enthusiasm. Take pressure in it. Use the five senses to unlock your joy, your enthusiasm. See the joy bringers around you. Feel the joy around you. Taste the joy around you. And you can go exercise later. Hear the sounds of joy around you and smell the fragrance of joy around you. Maybe because you are making chapati. Have a happy and joyful new year, 2021. That's my message for you for the new year. Let's all go to 2021 with a great new enthusiasm for our lives, work, and relationships. Thank you and best wishes. Happy holidays. Remember to like and keep watching. We all need to elevate our mindset at this time.